Hey everybody, it's Goody, and I am here with two of Cleo Denial's siblings, and Hixby Hedgehog and Enchantimal, but I thought he looks like he could easily be a Monster High sibling too. Alright, let's first look at the two Monster High dolls. We've got Farrah Denial here. She comes with a board game and some pieces. And there's a little family portrait of all of them together. It says Monster Family of Cleo Denial. And here we have Sandy Denial. Again, the same little picture. Monster Family of Cleo Denial. A little Sandy doll. And she comes with a really cool looking Egyptian high chair. See the cats at the bottom? It looks so cool. I'm <laughs> really excited to get that out. I've already opened a family pack that came with Cleo, Lux, and another Sandy, but I had to buy this extra Sandy to get the high chair. The Denials are a closely wrapped family who think a night of watching movies or playing games together is creeperific fun. And here it shows some of the other little siblings in the collection. We've got Ebby Blue, family of Laguna Blue, Fangelica, family of Draculaura, and Paula Wolf. Well, I'm going to open both of these right now, and we'll look at them both together. And both of the backgrounds are a picture frame with a living room, a couch, pillows, and some Egyptian iconography framed in the background. First up, I've got Farah Denial here. She's got a gold headband with a bow. I don't quite understand it, but okay. She's got big lavender eyes and a little starburst on her cheek. She's got black hair with some purple streaks in it, and it's very soft. Up in a little ponytail here. She has a little pink dress with some Egyptian motif, a little ribbon belt, and a gold necklace. Her arms and legs are molded like mummy wraps, so there's texture to them. And her hands, you can really see where the mummy wraps are. Yeah, that might be my favorite part of her altogether. She's not articulated at the elbow or knee, but her arms and legs move, so you can sit her down. Her entire body is mummy wraps, and her little dress does Velcro in the back, which is pretty nice for a doll this size. And she has some Egyptian themed shoes here, with little winged beetles on the toes. A bow on the side. I don't know, what do you guys think about these little siblings? And they're kind of silly and gimmicky, but as a Monster High collector, I like to document the entire progression of the line. And it's my hopes that at some point, Monster High will come back and go back towards its beginnings, and these dolls will be really funny then. <laughs> Here we have Miss Sandy. She's got an eyeball on her belly, which reminds me more of Monsters, Inc. than Monster High. She does have mummy wrap legs and mummy wrap arms that are pretty darn cute, though, for a baby. Her arms and her legs move, which is good because we're going to have to get her into that high chair. And then she has this beautiful gold headpiece. And turquoise eyes. And Farah came with this little game board table. And it came with these two little game pieces that you might recognize from the Manster's Boy Doll 2-pack featuring Gil and Deuce. And these look like little zombies but wrapped up like mummies. And that came with this tiny little gold die that I most certainly am going to lose. <laughs> and little Miss Sandy came with this purple monster pie cake with eyes that is definitely a recycled piece but in a different color. And she's got a little gold bone fork with a handle that we've also seen before. 
and a little purple bottle that also came with some of the other little siblings but in different colors. Here is the piece I wanted the very most, this gorgeous <laughs> Egyptian themed high chair. I mean, what's not to love about this? Although I was wondering how stable it was gonna be since it's so tall and narrow. It's got cats at the base of the feet, which actually are a very good design to help keep them balanced since they've got a nice thick base. And their tails are connected. And on the side are hieroglyphs little feet on the bottom and the Egyptian motif coming up the side. The chair is turquoise and tufted with a stunning design on the back and a gold tray. Oh, it has a little knob here so we can probably snap on her bottle. That is really cute. Let's see if we can get Sandy in there. And then Miss Farah, she has such giant feet, I imagine she's gonna be able to stand up by herself. We'll give Miss Sandy some food. And yeah, her bottle has a little hole in the bottom. Just pop that on that little peg there to help keep it from falling, although I'm not sure how much that's gonna help. Farah's got her game here. And there's a little fork. I did not forget Mr. Hicksby Hedgehog. He is the last of my enchantimals in my doll collection cute little box with ears, a little picture of him and his little pet hedgehog. I love how they both have glasses. Hicksby Hedgehog and Pointer. Hicksby may look prickly on the outside, but on the inside he's a true softy. Hicksby and Pointer can never pass a tall grassy hill without curling up into balls and rolling to the bottom. So cute. I thought he'd make a great friend for Farah or Lux. All right, let's get him out. His card features some grass and a little tree with some hearts on it. Here is his pet pointer. <laughs> That's really funny. I wonder if Halloween would like him. Adorable. And here we have Hicksby. His glasses remind me of Iris Apple. His glasses are pinned into him and I'm not gonna pull those out because I really want them to stay on him. They are just so hysterical. He's got gold hair, or spikes, and little ears. His face has yellow painted down the front of his nose, and a little brown spot on the end of his nose. He has kind of a strange body as his shirt is printed on. His <laughs> little pockets on the back. It looks like a bodysuit with tights or something. It's kind of funny. I do like where the jeans are worn and bleached here. And he's got some pretty cool shoes on. He can move his legs and his arms, but not his elbow and his knees. His arms have a little bit more mobility than Farah's. He's got a black vest with a brown fur collar on there. I know Claudine would appreciate that. I don't know, doesn't he look like he should be a Monster High sibling? I mean, he's even a little bit more monstery than some of the Monster High siblings. <laughs> he's really pretty cute. Let's see if he'll stand up on his own. Oh yeah, not too bad. All right, let's get Miss Farah in here. Aw, they look cute together. And Miss Sandy. They could babysit. It's the Monster High Babysitter's Club. Here, you guys can play while Sandy eats. And I know Sandy's gonna love Pointer. Absolutely adorable. Well, all together, I actually kind of like them. I don't know. What do you guys think? I wish they would have made monster parents instead of little monster siblings. But I'm happy to have any Monster High dolls I can possibly get my hands on these days. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to subscribe for future videos. Bye for now. Bye.